What's up, Bombies? It's your girl, Bombshell Aura, back with another video. I hope you're feeling beautiful, looking beautiful, feeling handsome, looking handsome. Me, myself, I'm feeling bomb. Like, comment, subscribe, if you're new, join the Bombies Who Oh, follow me on IG, Twitter, at Bombshell Aura. Ooh. What we're getting into is Ricky Gervais wasn't born in the right place. That's what we're getting into. Put anything in the comments you're going to need to check out. Let's get into this video. What is humanity? What are we? Well, we've touched upon it there. We're great apes. Not metaphorically. We're literally great apes. We are 98.6% genetically identical to a chimpanzee. We're close to really? chimps and chimps are to gorillas. We left our common ancestor about six million years ago. We have the same life cycle. Same life cycle as any other animal, which is our parents mate, mm -hmm. we're born, mm -hmm. we grow, we mate, our parents die, all our mm. friends die, mm. and we die. <laughs> Now, my seven-year-old niece didn't like hearing that, right? Right. But I said, you've got to look. I said, stop crying. I said, I said, you're seven, you know, today. Right. So. Right. Any more grizzly and this part is cancelled. So. <laughs> so let's take the first of those, right? Birth. It's already an odd one for humanity because the human being is born before the end of its natural gestation period. And by that, I mean, because of our evolution, our brain is so big, we have to get that huge head out early. That's why the skull is in parts and supple, right? And then we have to carry on gestating outside the womb. That's why we're so useless. Compare us to other mammals, right? A right. giraffe is walking along. It goes, oh, I'm proper pregnant, right? <laughs> I'm going to have a baby giraffe right here. Right? Okay. Yeah, there it is. There it is. See you later. Right? And the baby goes, Mum, can I get a... It's got to be fucking ready, right? We're, we're helpless, right? So just think of that, right? Nine months, we're just growing in this perfect environment. Just like that. It's like being a little Kate Bush video. <laughs> And then suddenly, shh, and you're being squeezed out of an hole near an Ooh. arse. You're, you're covered in shit, they're screaming, you mm. can't breathe. Someone goes, yes, you fucking can, right? I know that's right. That's the first one second of life on Earth. You don't know where you are, you can't choose where you're born. I was born in a place called Whitley Estate in Reading, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, no, I wouldn't have chosen that. Um, <laughs> I've chosen Hampstead. I did choose Hampstead. It just took me 45 years to be able to afford it, right? Oh very different, very different way of bringing, you know, to, to how I live now. I know I live a privileged life now. Hampstead, ridiculous. Oh, it's a rarefied place, right? It's just like the grandchildren of poets and painters and me, new money, right? But no money. growing up, it was tough. I, I don't know what it's like now, but in my day, my estate was really sort of rough and scary. It felt like wildlife. I was weak and vulnerable, right? And there was danger around every corner. The school I went to was on my street, and I ran there every day so I didn't get mugged or molested. And oh, there were a lot of paedophiles in Reading because the murderers had killed a lot of them, but there was still a, a couple, right? I moved to Hampstead. Oh, my God, it's... Uh, no crime. I saw a knife once in Hampstead. It was a pallet knife. <laughs> just a bloke, just painting, oil painting, in the middle of the street, broad daylight. <laughs> no one was gobbing on it or calling him Bender. It was weird. Right? <laughs> so, I know my life has changed drastically, but it wasn't always like that. And the reason I'm telling you this, as a famous person, you sort of read about yourself, you know, mm. gossip and, you know, Twitter and everything. And the one thing kept cropping up, even when I was up preparing for this tour, he was saying, oh, oh, he's out of touch. He's so famous. He's rich. He's mega rich. I am. Uh, <laughs> I could have this place burned down for a laugh. <laughs> no, but they say things like, oh, he's an observational comedian. How can he say things that relate to ordinary scum? And I say... <laughs> I say, don't call them scum, right? Oh, my God. But even the papers, they try and get around to it. I do interviews, and they'll always be able to say, oh, um, do you always fly first class? I go, no, often private. Right? <laughs> and the number of times I've answered this question, right? They say, um, uh, do you know how much a pint of milk is? It's meant to make you look out of touch. And right. Like <laughs> right? Next time a journalist asks me that, I'm going to say, I don't know, mate. But here's a grand. Run and get me one, will you? 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was funny. And Ricky Gervais, he has a different type of humor. And I'm starting to like get into it for real, for real, you know? <laughs> it means like, I'll be shocked when I watch him. But put more videos that I should watch in the comments. Y'all, I love you guys so much. Get out of the tube for all of the love and support. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye, Bobbies.